take 50. Man, I hate making videos. <laughs> All right, so. You like using the SGR Sharp with the community plugins. But right now, some of the sites that the plugin and the community installer uses are offline. So here's an idea that I did that seems to work. So what you're going to do is you're going to have, say you got a computer. This works if you already have an SDR Sharp community package installed on another PC. So what you want to do is I had it installed on a another PC and I copied it to a thumb drive. And so I downloaded the newest version, 1909, onto that thumb drive. And then I also put the SDR community package that I'd installed on another hard drive onto this thumb drive. So now we have the community package. This is 1860 that I had on another computer. And then the, the current 1909. So I'm going to copy those off my thumb drive. And I'm going to put them in my C drive. All right, so refresh this. Scroll down. So SDR Sharp Community 1860. That's the one I just put on there. So I'm going to open it up, go to band. I'm going to run it. All right, so. 1860 we're not seeing the plugins that it has because this comes with all these plugins so here's what we got to do is we've moved it from the initial install directory so we got to make some directory changes so what we're going to do is we're going to go to bin i'll close this down we're going to go to bin we're going to scroll down to SDR Sharp Config, and we're going to open that with a text editor. All right, so we can see right here, D SDR Sharp 1860 Community Plugins. Well, that's not the directory it's in anymore. So if we go up here, that's the current directory. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back to the text editor, and then I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to change the directory. I'm going to paste that there. And then I got to go through and look for every one of them that has a directory listing and change those. I think there's one more down here toward me, yeah, right there. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, I keep, just keep scrolling down the bottom and changing all the directory ones that you find. Now we're going to hit save. Now I'm going to go back. And I'm going to start SDR Sharp again. All right. So, 1860. Oh, look, there's all those plugins. All right. So now we have. An older community version that was installed on another computer 
up and running on this computer. So now we want 1909. So we're going to close this out. We're going to go to our C drive where we just had put the newest SDR Sharp 1909. So we're going to open that up. All we're going to do is we're going to we're going to highlight and copy all the way down to just above the SDR Sharp config. I'm going to copy those. I'm going to paste them in the community bin. Then we're going to go back to the 1909 folder and we're going to copy everything below the SDR Sharp config because we don't want to mess up the config we just edited. So I'm going to copy that. I'll go back over here. I'm going to paste that. So basically we've replaced, we've copied all the files from the 1909 folder except for the SDR Sharp config file. We've left that one that we edited. So now, now we're going to fire up SDR Sharp EXE. Please work. And now we have SDR Sharp Studio version 1909. And looky here. There's all our community plugins. It's a win win, huh? So 1909. So I'll close this. And that's that. Remember, if you change this folder name, see, like if I was to change this to 1909, I'd have to go back into this and re-edit all the directory tags to reflect that change. So if I wanted to, like, say I wanted to change 1860 place 1860 with 1909 just over here where we can see what is going on replace 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 Please, please, I love Notepad++. Plus Plus. All right, so we replaced those all in 1909. I'm going to save that. I'm going to change this to 1909 to reflect the current version that we've updated it to. Go back in here. Fired up. Nineteen oh nine. All the plugins. Meteor Demolager. Let's see. What's everybody saying? They, they can't get the cat's eye. I don't know. They like that calico cat's eye. So there's the calico cat's eye. So it's all there. So maybe that's a workaround for you. Tell them sites come back up. 